Here's some data from one of Catherine Kosak's videos. It seems apparent that the population that we're looking at is the population of families in the U.S. And the random variable that we're looking at is the size of the family. Now what's provided for us here is essentially a discrete probability distribution. You see there's the random variable, the x's, and, uh, and then the probabilities associated with, uh, with each of those. We can easily put that data into R. It's common to call the random variable x. And it's often a good idea to annotate what you're doing here. I'm just reminding myself that that uh, random variable x is really the size of families. I'm going to list the relative frequency or the probability associated with each of those sizes. So at that point we've essentially wrangled the data. We have it now in, an, in R so that it's easy to work with. We know how to find the population mean from a <coughs> discrete probability distribution function and there's the formula. It's just going to be each one of the x's times the probability associated with each of those x's and just add them up. What we're going to do is just look at the sum of the x's times times the p's. Okay, so that's exactly what this is saying. Take the each one of the x's times the probability associated with each of those x's and add them up. If we execute that code we discover that the mean is uh, 3.12. We'll uh, save that in an object called mu for the population mean. We also know how to find the standard deviation of a discrete probability distribution and this is the formula for doing that. So we can execute that formula. Uh, it's kind of a complicated formula so maybe we'll do that in a in a number of steps. We'll ask our script to print out mu again just so that we've got that available to us. So we'll need to build the vector x minus mu quantity squared times p and then we need to add that up. We need That amount is, is the, the variance so let's call that var for variance of the population Maybe we'll put a note over here that that's the population variance. And then the standard deviation, or sigma, is simply going to be the square root of that variance. And let's output that standard deviation. Then we can run that script. Okay, this is case sensitive, so what I needed to have here was this to be var, var, because that's how I had stored it over here. Then if we run that script, then we find that mean, which is 3.12, we had already found that before, and the standard deviation is 1.202, etc. Okay. Easy peasy. Once you get things into R, then you can easily execute uh, formula, 